Hi and welcome to SQL Injection Master Course. My name is Hitesh Chaudhary and you can visit my homepage from below mentioned website and can leave your feedbacks to me, can purchase my courses or anything like that or just can enjoy this course if you have got this. So really definitely things is uh, getting more interesting right now and we are on to the next challenge that we have to face. Of course, I have already discussed everything, every command on the previously a uh, little bit blunder video that I have made some stupid mistakes out there. But definitely you got the idea how you can do the things via the back end. Now the thing is how you can proceed on to the front end. And definitely my part is getting less and less now because I hope uh, this is the real way actually to understand that the students are learning or not. So again, we have got lesson 8.zip file. Let me first quit this command prompt from the last video where we have actually made a lots of mistakes. Uh, not we actually, I made it, I made all of them. So let us first travel to slash root desktop and find out that yes, there is a lesson 8.zip file. Let me move it to uh, lesson 8.zip file to slash war www master let me also travel to slash war www master do a quick ls yes lesson 8 dot zip file is here i can unzip all the contents that's why i have made all the zip file i could have made a tar file as well but zip file is really uh, easy to uncompress and it's really a small command as well and also uh, I was not putting up a huge files in this. These are just KB files. So here it is. One is image1.cif. The second is index.php. As I always recommend, first of all, try to go in the lesson eight, do a quick ls and open the index.php file so that you can actually uh, take a look on these kinds of things that what is actually happening around. Like what are the queries that is being assigned? What are the logics that is being assigned to it? And you can also get rid of this uh, nasty SQL injection from your own application. So uh, this is quite an interesting thing going on. Let me just quit it. Uh, all the things have been launched and start up in the previous video. And what I can do now, I can simply launch my Firefox in the background mode. It will just take a couple of moments. And here it is. Okay, so it's uh, loading up from lesson number seven. I want to load up the lesson number eight. Now here we have, uh, again, we have got a nice and good image. Uh, you can also make some good time pass uh, uh, over having this. But really your focus should always be on lesson number eight. But really learning a thing about is really cool thing. If you are not cool enough in learning the things you cannot proceed eventually at a much greater speed. If you're chill, relax, and focusing on learning, then that way you can proceed a lot. Uh, that's only my personal experience. I have engaged in like that way. Just be relaxed and everything. So question mark ID equals to one. So we are in. Let us say ID is equals to one. So many zeros. It says you are in. Let's say, let's put a very big digit number uh, that is also in. If I in place of that, let me put my name here. Again, we are in. Let me again try to break the query by using single quote. Nothing happens. Double quotes. Nothing happens. Quote and a bracket is also not a good idea. Quote and bracket close is also not a good idea. So you might be wondering, hey, Tish, is it going to break anyhow or show us some sign? Like it is not also. Uh, uh, making the things went off that you are in. So in that case, the things might get very, very clumsy. So what I assume that single code breaks the query, I'm just assuming it. Sometimes it just breaks with the double quotes, brackets or anything like that. I'm just amending the query that I have fixed the query with this. Okay, it's just my assumption. And in the meanwhile, what I can do to get a proof is select and and I would use a sleep function here that would be let's say 10 seconds so now you can see that at the bottom it says waiting for local host at the top here at the circle i uh, went up round and round again and again that means the database is not responding till the 10 seconds only that means that we have got a good news and application is vulnerable to an sql attack 
Also, you could have put in here the double quotes and find out that, hey, it's not working. Or you could have put in single quote and a bracket and see that, hey, it's also not working. It's just breaking down at a single quote and it's waiting. So I hope you got the core concept idea. And here is this from the challenge where it starts. So challenge is pretty simple. Break down the query, find out the version name. Uh, of course, it is Ubuntu 5.1 and find out the table's name if you can. And just use the command that we have discussed in the last movie. And that remain all the things uh, quite common and stuff around. So also don't try to get some shortcuts as there are no shortcuts for being a very good pen testers. Don't try those shortcuts use all of them. Now, some of you might be asking one more very good question that, hey, Tish, there are lots of tools for SQL injection being available like Havage and quite others as well. I would not like to name any of them specifically. But yes, you can do a lots of thing by that tool also, but uh, tools are tools. So what can I say more uh, than this? A practical and real aspect knowledge is really required to be a great pen tester. So with this, let's end up our video and thank you so much for watching.